Good morning, good morning. We're back here with the C. Allen Morning Show with Bennett and Brown. And our guest today is the makeup artist, yes. the master, oh, yes. excuse me, the father the of father. makeup, That's right. Reggie Wells. Reggie, you there? I'm, yeah, I'm here. I'm listening to Beyonce in the background and just thinking about her at 16 year old when I work with, the, with Destiny's Child. And one of the kindest and most talented women you could ever meet. Back then, at 16 years old, I was teaching her things that she was really taking in. And it probably made her understand what the beauty of makeup is all about and how, how you can prepare yourself and make yourself as beautiful as possible. So it, it reminds me of all the people I've touched in yeah. 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 Well, I have a question for you, Reggie. Well, you know that I'm the skin girl, so that's my first love and passion and beauty. And what I really was excited about when I read some information about you is that you focus some of your tips around proper skin care prior to applying the makeup, which is not usual for makeup artists all the time. So what are your top three skin tips? Well, you know, I'm an artist by profession. I went to art school and I had that little gift of painting and drawing. So before you can do anything to a canvas, you have to prepare it. Yes, I tell indeed. women all the time, you can't just push foundation over a thing like a saw or pimple. You have to work on that for you. Yes. Thank you. The foundation. So it's, wor it's worth it to clean and make your skin a preparation for what you're about to do. For years, I had to convince Oprah that if you put so much makeup on every day, because we had to wear makeup every day, it was mm -hmm. important, go home or go into the office into the makeup room and clean that skin. And so I would teach her to clean that skin after 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon and just walk around, around just with a little bareness on so that your pores can breathe. This is what we don't know, that the face has pores and they have to breathe. So if you co cover them constantly, you have to remember that's the only way you give that skin a chance to breathe. Do that first, ladies. And then we can talk about what you need to make the skin look even more beautiful. All right. I love it. And I'm telling you, everyone, you need to call 202-526-1400, extension 18, and register for that class. I'm sitting here listening to you, Father, and I tell you, one of the things that we appreciate about you, not only your so many, your long history of working with so many prominent women that we see every day, even Michelle Obama, you touched her face. So many women that you have touched, but the thing that I most appreciate is you bring a lot of wisdom and knowledge with what you're doing. It's not a lot of talk, but you have all the action to back it up because I tell you, and I'm not talking about anyone, you know I'm not, but this is the Seattle Morning Show. I'm not going to tell you that my mother said that Oprah, there's only you can do the Oprah face. And, you know, we love Derek. He's a friend of the show. But only you can do the Oprah face. It's something about the magic that you have to make her look the best she can look and this is the reason why we twisted the father's arm for him to come out and speak to 30 women and and talk to these 30 women about bringing their best look forward i'm telling you because you just have that gift now you talked about uh beyonce being someone great to work with have you had some clients that have been very difficult well, in, in the world of makeup and celebrities, and this is what I want to get women to know because we put this thing on celebrities, and Chad, you know me about celebrities. I touch a lot of people, but I don't give the title of a celebrity makeup artist because, first of all, the only reason they are celebrities, and we put that tag on them, it's because they make money and they have talent and they have stars, but this is the way I look at it. Every woman in the world, whether she be a homemaker or is working, is a celebrity to me. That's right. Because they go to work every day, and this is what I want the women to know. Because when I started with some of these women, they weren't celebrities then. You know, I started with Garcelle Bouvier when she was working at a restaurant as a waitress at 19 years old. And Susan Taylor brought her up to the magazine, and that was my first cover of Essence Magazine, 1980. Wow. 
So let me just say something about the idea of women and who they are and what they are. Let's not put a placement or a tag on anybody because Miss Johnson and Miss Miss Greenberg and whoever you want to say is my celebrity to me because everyone who sits in front of my seat is important to me. I think the chemistry with Oprah and I worked with was she was celebrity then, as we so call it. Mm-hmm. She was starting off. So she was uh, the woman who I had to make glamorous. That was my thing. I wanted to make her glamorous. And after the 20 years we worked together, I think what happened was we got to be comfortable with each other. So my suggestions led into something else. You know, I can go down the street to Diana's, and if I work with her every day and do her eyes, she's going to become comfortable with me. So she's going to say, yeah, I love my eyebrows, and she's going to get used to doing them that way. So I'm saying that comfortability is the first thing you need with anyone, and I think that's what we had with Oprah. We still have that today. Okay, very good. I have a few um, practical questions from a couple of the listeners. The first one is, what is the difference between an illuminator and a primer? Well, uh, the primer is the thing I was talking about with skin. That actually primes the skin. That's getting the skin ready for something to go over it. Something else. So you prime the skin. You have a, it's like gessoing a canvas before you paint. So you're priming that skin to make sure that that skin holds whatever you're about to put on it. An illuminator is something that has a luster or a glow to it. Anything that has. We have, thanks to the uh, mineral makeup, it's an illuminator. It has that the essence of those microbes and, and pearlization that illuminates the skin. So what I think now people are very interested in that skin glowing. And we can get that in both skin care and we can get it in the makeup itself. So the illuminator is something that has a little glow or sparkle to it. And the problem is you're protecting. Okay, okay very good. Great. All right, the second one is, what do we really use that kabuki brush for? Oh, God, these brushes. Don't get me into brushes. <laughs> I, I mean, I have a lot of brush questions, so let's... I know, we all do. And that the whole purpose is, where did the hell did they come from? <laughs> <laughs> kabuki. Why are we being... Uh, constricted to brushes. This is what I get. As a makeup artist and a painter before, there weren't any brushes for any of us to do makeup. Jerome Alexander in 1969, 1970 brought out the first line of brushes. The actual brushes were actually established in Japan by Shimura, and he made the first brush set. So I'm trying to say to you, is that it doesn't have a meaning as to what the kabuki brush is or whatever the name of the <laughs> brush is. I just have these numbers and the names, they really spook me up. And I made a mistake one day, and one of the students in the classroom said, my God, Mr. Wells, you're using the eye brush for the cheat. I said, oh, my God, what's going to happen to me? You think something's going to happen to me? <laughs> no, because a brush is a brush is a brush. All right. And so, all you have to do is find out the best use you want for it. That could, the brush might be used for your knee or your elbow or for your shoulders, whatever you find comfortable. We only put names on them because we have to sell them. So wow. So we should sit on the brush as to what it can do or where you can use it. Use it all over the place. I, one time I lost all of my equipment. So I going to do Oprah on a plane. We left it on the plane. We couldn't. We, I didn't have anything, so I had to run to Walgreens and collect everything I could ever imagine. But they weren't the expensive things, and they weren't the illustrious things. But because I knew what to do with a certain brush, you can use it that way. So in my class, you will find out from the women who book the class that in their bags you're going to find the necessary things, and you're going to have repeated things. That's why I love telling them to dump their makeup. Exactly. <laughs> I could tell people that every day. It, you would find some of the unnecessary things in that bag that uh, they buy because they think they should have it. Exactly. Well, you could have saved me a lot of money because my confession I is... <laughs> That's what's so great about this class we're having. We're going to save a lot of money. And Chad, by the way, for the next people who register for the class, 
I'm going to come in with a gift for all of them. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to come in a special gift. I'm not going to tell them what it is. I'm going to give them a special gift. All you have to do is let me know after this uh, radio show, whatever, whoever signs up right away. We're going to give them a special gift. All right. Did you all hear that? I guess Reg- it's not going to be brushes. No. Reggie Wales, well, listen to you me. never know. That's the whole key. It might be the brush you never had before. Oh. Exactly. 202-526-1400, extension 18. For those of you who would like to be a part of the intimate evening with the Emmy Award winning Reggie Wales, we have him on the line today. He's going to be, you need to put $50 down. When you call to register, the other 49 isn't due until you come to the event. He has a special gift for all of those who register today. Linda is by the phones now, 202-526-1400, extension 18. And listen, we got to go to a commercial break, so we want the father makeup to sit back. Uh, we have a couple more questions for him. But while we're on the break, you need to call 202-526-1400, extension 18. We'll be right back. The father of makeup, Reggie Wells, live on the Sea Island Morning Show with Bennett and Brown. We'll be right back. 